Hold for plane? another episode of More Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou. Welcome back to the channel, my tea time fam. Shoot. Now, as you remember, today is the promised part two episode to last week's More Mary. Today, we are going to be talking about what it's like living in LA. This series is inspired by Erica Fox's Retro Flame channel. She did a video kind of like the one I'm going to do today, all about what it's like living in New York. And she and her sister have the most excellent taste. I live my like vicarious New York City life through them. I'm gonna have all of their links in the description below. Hello. And before we move on with our Los Angeles truth video, uh, hey friends, if you're not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing out. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. Let's get going on this video, okay? Mm. Probably the most living in Los Angeles obvious thing to talk about, so we're just gonna talk about it first. The weather. Yes, the weather in Los Angeles is freaking incredible. And I mean, I grew up in a part of the United States where it snows more than half the year. Of course, it's not literally sunshiny every single day of the year. There are really only two seasons, winter or spring and summer. We don't get too much in the way of color changing trees. One thing that I miss is fall. The weather for the majority of the year here is so stunning, so wonderful. There's always a place to seek refuge when it's 111 degrees, which doesn't happen often. Reminder, there's no humidity. So 111 degrees here feels about as miserable as 85 degrees and humid back on the East Coast. So I love it. Moving on. <laughs> I'm a firm believer that in Los Angeles, there is a neighborhood for pretty much anybody. For those of you that don't know, Los Angeles isn't like a typical city. The only city city part of LA is downtown Los Angeles, and I almost never go there. Los Angeles is kind of like divided, but not really divided. They just kind of run into one another of different neighborhoods that have different vibes. If you like to live in like the hipster capital, there's Silver Lake for you. If if you want to live in a super historical area with the arts and lots of brick, you can live in Pasadena. If you want somewhere that's like teeming with creative people, that's slightly more urban with quirky coffee shops, go live in NoHo. There's a neighborhood for everybody. Yes. I cannot help but mention, of course, as a perk, like it is in a lot of major cities, the food. The food. It's pretty cheap and it's super good. Of course, you know, you can go to really, really fancy fancy places like Wolfgang Puck's restaurant and all that stuff. And on top of that, things grow year round. So there's produce year round. And even if it is like being imported or whatever, like Mexico's not that far away. And you really start to see like seasons in fruits and vegetables. Like for two weeks, you'll have eight different kinds of pears that are 49 cents a pound. The next week, strawberries will be super cheap. The next week, different kinds of tomatoes or squash or lettuces, like all of these things. Who doesn't love discovering what a kumquat tastes like because of citrus season? <laughs> So of course I gotta sandwich all of this like great news, good times with some like not nice things about living in LA. The rent is expensive. The apartment that I lived in in New York State before I moved to Los Angeles, like sure it was about half the size of this, but it was also less than half the cost with utilities included. It's certainly not the most expensive US city, like San Francisco is insane. One thing to note though about specifically New York City apartments versus Los Angeles apartments is there's a lot more room out in Los Angeles, so the apartments tend to be a lot bigger. <laughs> Another big one that you hear Los Angeles people complain about all the time is the traffic. There is not a super well-established public transit system. Sure, there are buses, but buses can get stuck in traffic too. There is like one subway line, technically like in LA, that runs from like North Hollywood now all the way down to Santa Monica, which is great, but it just, it's one. It's 
it goes like this. It's probably one of the biggest downsides of living in LA is there's not a subway system. And of course, there is a way to sort of deal with traffic in a smart way. A, get familiar with when rush hour times are. And I highly recommend getting a traffic savvy app. An app that updates in real time and will reroute you based on traffic jams, accidents, construction, all of that stuff. I went for my first year in Los Angeles using just a regular GPS that did not account for traffic and I was like, oh, the way to time. So let's go ahead and sandwich that pretty obvious bad news about Los Angeles with some more things I love about it. Because like, friends, I really love living in LA. Los Angeles is full of creative people. This is not obviously a coincidence. A lot of the entertainment industry is out here. Everything from comedy to obviously movies. YouTube is huge in Los Angeles. A lot of people like myself have moved from other corners of the US and parts of the world to Los Angeles to like honestly go where there are lots of jobs. And that's Los Angeles for a lot of creative types. So why is this so great? Well, you'll find your tribe. You'll probably find other people trying to do the same thing. I've met amazing people standing in line at Walgreens. Hey Nova Star, how you doing girl? <laughs> That literally happened, I'm not kidding. There's also so much to do in Los Angeles. Yes, this is definitely true, but also take it with a grain of salt because I grew up in a farm town. So even the fact that there is like a target a mile from me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so spoiled. Comedy scene is unreal out here. There are festivals all the time. There are so many different kinds of people in LA. There are so many different kinds of things happening, not to mention like just cool stuff to do. Like there's the observatory and different parks and the beach. Hello, the beach. Sometimes I'll have an audition down there or I'll be recording down there. And I'm just like, you know, let me just take the next hour to walk in the sand. And my last point that I wanna talk about today is another thing you'll hear people from Los Angeles talk about a lot, that sometimes the best thing is to get out of Los Angeles. When you live in a place that's so self-sufficient, I don't really have to leave LA, but then it's, it's really nice to get away. And fortunately, there are lots of places that are a day's drive away. An hour and a half south is the Temecula wine region, which is beautiful. A little further south than that is San Diego. I love San Diego. You go a little bit north and there's like breezy coasts with rolling grassy hillsides. Santa Barbara is a little bit up north. There is so much to do in LA, but also so much to do outside of LA that if you need a day trip, you need a week weekend, a week, whatever, you really don't have to look too far to get out. Mm. And lots of tea shops in LA. Yes. So that is it for my what it's really like living in LA tea. Eh? for you today. Thank you so much to Erica Fox of Retro Flame for inspiring this video. Again, all of her links will be below. I hope that you got something out of this video because people ask me all the time, especially those that have never been to LA. Mm. And I just wanted to give you an insider scoop. Thank you so much for being a part of this two episode journey with me. Last week's episode is in the description box if you missed it. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on Tuesday. Hello! Thank you so much for watching this episode of More Mary. I hope you loved it. If you check out Retro Flame's channel, tell her I say hello. If you want to hang out on the internet every day of the week and not just here on YouTube on Sundays and Tuesdays, all of my social media links are in the description box below. Let's hang out and have a good time. That's it for me today. Okay, love you. Bye-bye. I hope you have a...